Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about LDR module. LDR stands for light dependent resistance. This is the main component that is an LDR in the LDR module. In the absence of light, the resistance in this increases and in the presence of light, the resistance in this decreases. Based on the principle, this module gives a high output when there is high light and gives a low output when there is low light or no light. There is a comparator IC LM393 that takes the voltage from the LDR output and gives the output of the module accordingly. Here are three pins in the module. If I bring it closer, you can see the top pin is the VCC pin where we give 5 volt power supply. This module works from 3.3 volt to 5 volt range. So in the VCC pin, we will give the positive power supply 3.3 to 5 volt DC. The middle pin is the ground pin. Here we will give the negative power supply. And the third pin, the bottom pin is DO pin. That means a digital output pin. In some LDR modules, you will find four pins. The fourth pin is the analog output pin in which the voltage varies from 0 volt to 5 volt as per the intensity of the light. But in this module, it only gives either a high output or a low output in the DO pin. And the threshold of the light, the environment light, can be adjusted using this potentiometer. Here are two LEDs on this module. One is here, another is here. This LED works as a power indicator. When there is power in the module, this LED glows and this LED glows when the output is high. Actually, these modules are active low modules. So when this LED glow, the output pin gives a low level output or a digital zero output. And when this LED turn off, this pin gives a digital high output or a digital one output. I will show that in the practical demonstration. So now let us move on to the application of this module. I will show the application on a breadboard. So first we will give power in the breadboard. I am bringing it a little closer. I am connecting the negative and positive power to the breadboard. I am tilting the board for the ease of viewing. Now I am inserting the LDR module in the breadboard. Now I will connect the VCC in the positive power supply. The ground pin in the negative power supply. Let me remove the wire from view. So you can see after I have given the power supply, the power supply LED here is glowing and the output LED also here is glowing. Now if I cover the light, the output LED turns off and I move my hand, the output LED turns on. You can see. So this is the working principle of the LDR module. When there is light on the LDR, the output LED glows and when there is no light or less light as per the adjusted threshold, the output LED will not glow and accordingly the output pin also give output. Now what I was saying that it is an active low module. That means when the output LED glows, the output pin voltage is low and when the output pin does not glow, the DO pin is high. So I am connecting one jumper wire from the output pin to the LED. Now you see the output is showing high, but the LED here is not glowing. That means the output pin is now giving a digital zero output. Now I will cover the LDR and you see the output LED will be glowing. You see I have covered the LDR. Now the output LED is glowing. Since I have not connected any resistance, this output LED is getting some reverse voltage and it is glowing, but it should not glow when we wire it properly. So when there is darkness, the output voltage is high. Now I will show you connecting it with a relay module. So here I have a relay module. These relay modules are also active low module. That means when the input is low, the relays turn on and when the input is high, the relays turn off. 
So this will work properly with this LDR module because when light falls on this board, the output will be low, then the relay will turn on and when there will be light on the LDR, the output will be high. So the relay will turn off. Now I will connect it with a relay module, connecting the positive power supply, connecting the negative power supply. Since these relay modules does not have any indicator to show the power status, until we give signal in the input, we cannot know if there is power. So I am connecting the input from the output pin of the LDR module. You see, as soon as I connected the input cable, the input status of the relay module is glowing. That means the relay is turned on now. The output is turned on showing here and the input is also on here for the relay module. Now, if I cover the LDR, if I cover the LDR, the output here, the output status is turning off and the relay input is also turning off. The relay is also turning off. I'm allowing light on the LDR and the relay is turning on. Using this, we can make automatic night lamp, automatic day alarm. So this is how the LDR module is working. We can adjust this potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity of the LDR module or the threshold light amount. If we increase it, we need to make it more dark for the relay module to work. So this was the standalone operation of the LDR module. Now I will show you how to interface it with an Arduino. So I am removing the relay module now. I will connect the Arduino. Till now I was working from an external power supply. Now I will take the power from the Arduino 5 volt pin and the ground pin. And I will connect the output pin of the LDR module to the digital pin number 3. Here I am connecting one LED at the pin number 13 of Arduino to show the status of the LDR properly. This is the Arduino sketch that I am going to use. Let me first select the COM port. It is selected COM5. Arduino Uno board is selected. Now I will upload the sketch. It's compiling the sketch, sketch uploading. And once the sketch is uploaded, you see the LED here is glowing. Now if I cover the light, the LED will turn off. If I cover the LDR, the LED connected to pin number 13 will turn off. And if I move my hand, light falls on the LDR, the LED will turn on. In this way, we can interface an LDR module with the Arduino. We can also reverse the status of the LED just by changing the code a little. Here, I will change it to high and this to low. And I will upload the sketch. Now you see initially that LED is turned off. When I cover the LDR, the LED will turn on and when I allow light to fall on the LDR, the LED will turn off. So this way we can invert the functioning of the LDR module. Hope I am able to make you understand the functioning of the LDR module in detail. If you have any confusion or any query, please feel free to ask me in the comments. In my next video, I will discuss about some other module. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it for getting the notification of my future video uploads. Thank you for watching. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time. Thank you.